going on guys long time since I made a video feels like forever got a lot of videos to make so better start getting to the getting anyhow I got some gun videos to do I purchased a few guns in the past month and this being one of them I got two more to do actually I should have did the first one I bought first but we're gonna go in a little bit of a different order anyway with me rambling aside gonna do a knife review first update before we get into the video real quick normally I do a knife update at the end of all my videos now but we're gonna do this quick this was one of the original knives that I first started designing was the Cricut this is the last one out of the batch that I was actually able to salvage when I was first learning how to grind problem was is I was grinding all the good metal and I was screwing it up and this one was one that I was able to salvage but when we get up close I'll, I'll show you guys what it looks like up close and uh, you could take a better look at it but I'll show you real quick this is it it's in a gun blue finish hopefully you can see that, that gun blue on it the grind isn't perfect but you know what this was gonna end up in the trash because I'm just trying to be a perfectionist with it but it didn't come out bad it's a flat grind with a small scandy on the bottom it's got a uh, nice finger choil work done tang the whole tang is all the whole thing's gun blued it's got aluminum pins in it the aluminum tube back here I chamfered for a cleaner look it's very comfortable in the hand it's got a good purchase either up here by the sheep's foot or back here or using your first finger however you want to use it it's super super sharp guys I'm not going to do any uh, cutting with it right now and you know slicing up paper and all that that's just that's just foolish it's razor sharp trust me when I tell you it's 1095 high carbon steel to a Rockwell 59 he treated it myself the whole thing but when we get up close for the NAA I'll show you guys this up close under better lighting so let me put that aside Uh, excuse me have a quick drink now we're gonna get into the North American arms super companion this is the packaging it comes in set that there on the bench I'm gonna resituate the camera guys and um, we're gonna jump into that so I'll be back in a flash okay guys so we're back here we are at the bench we got the North American arms super companion like I said this is the packaging it comes in so let's take it out of the packaging before I open this up I just want to tell you guys I did some modifications to it so this isn't how it comes I'm going to show you a picture on my iPad how it actually comes but I did some modifications that I was going to do videos on but I'm so far behind on videos guys I just want to get through some of these so this is how it comes here's the barcode on it serial number these are all serialized um, it's model NAA 22 Magnum cap and ball super cap and ball all the parts for this fit all the regular rimfire super 22 cap uh, not cap and ball regular cartridge uh, accessories whether it be 22 magnum or 22 long everything fits all the handles holsters everything fits except for the cylinders so we're gonna pop it open and first thing you got here is uh, this is this is supposed to be an ammo pouch but I, I put the extra mag it comes with it comes with two cylinders I said magazine it comes with cylinders it's a revolver and these are all loaded up because I plan on taking it to the club tomorrow here's the extra cylinder here's the business end all loaded up I'll show you what the uh, bullets look like here's the holster now what do you guys think of the holster because I, I did this whole die job made it look weathered made it look old like an old you know like this thing's been around for a while what do you see what this thing looked like guys before I dyed it and here's the actual firearm but well, let me put this aside for a minute <clears throat> underneath this is the accessories it comes with comes with the powder measurer which is 0.3 cc which is roughly 3.5 or 4.5 grains and here's your <clears throat> this is your bullet seeder when you put your uh, pull it in the cylinder you put the cylinder on here and, and you push it down this thing works really handy actually comes with a NAA lock there's not a lot of videos guys out on, on the cap and ball version North American arms lock which I'm probably never going to use for this because I have a safe <coughs> throw this back in the box or out of the way you get an Allen wrench for the for the nipples they come out really easy clean everything in my ultrasonic as you saw by the last video this Allen wrench takes the nipples out 
Then there's this little thing in the bottom, which I didn't know what it was for until after I fired it. These caps, see how these percussion caps sit, sit flush? It's a real sleek look. They sit in there nice and flush. Once you fire them off, it's really hard to get them out. So I was wondering why you got this T-pin with it. You take the T-pin and the cylinder index and you, and you pop them up and out. They come out pretty easy with this little, this little doodad that they give you with it. Got all your books, warranties. Register for your warranty. You get a li limited lifetime warranty on it. Pretty much covers anything that malfunctions unless you throw the thing against the wall. They're not going to cover that. Your user manual. Got all your accessories, which like I said, all the regular, either mini, long, or a magnum, they all fit the cap and ball series. You got the belt buckle accessories. Actually, you know what guys? I don't even have to go on my iPad. Well, I will because it's a better picture. But that's, that's the color it came in. Raw leather it was just really ugly they got ankle holsters belt holsters in the pocket in the hip they've got shoulder holsters they got around the neck these are all different grips you can get i mean there's just a ton of accessories there's the belt buckle they even have a laser for it which is a little ridiculous for a gun this little but this one's pretty cool this is a pocket clip folds and puts in your pocket so you got all the accessories in the bottom it takes a number 11 percussion cap but I used number 10 because that's what I have and I had number 10 CCI's number 10 CCI's will not fit they won't fit the nipple you won't be able to get the cylinder inside the firearm which I'll show you this is a small batch of bullets you get I think you get like four or five hundred bullets with this kit and this is what they look like they're not round ball guys they're regular 22 I don't know if, if I can hold it they're so damn little because they're 22 but the regular 22 bullets, they have a, a conical head. They're not a round ball. These are a regular 22 bullet. I think what they are is 22 shorts, to be honest with you. So I keep those in there, a little one. I have another set here. That's a whole stack of them. There's about 300, 350 in here. And they're very, very, very cheap. The bullets are super cheap. Matter of fact, when I pull it up on the iPad, I think they're like... 300 for four bucks or something it's very very cheap to shoot this that's why i like black powder it's a lot cheaper to shoot and it's pretty fun all right so let me put this back here let me put this back in there that in there put that in there and we'll get this out of the way actually get this out of the way too all right so let's get into the firearm put the holster aside for a second all right, here it is, guys. It's pretty nice. It's pretty... It sits better in the hand than you would think. I, I hold it with my middle finger around it. I get a, you get a good grip on it. And the only uh, gripe I had, there was no rear sight. So I added this fiber optic sight on it, which I think came out pretty good. I epoxied it on there last night. Let me drop the cylinder out. Take it to half cock. I'm gonna push the little button in the front. Slide the pin out, drop the mag out, the cylinder out. I keep calling it a mag. All right, let me show you the fiber optic. I think it looks pretty good on there. It's got a sweet trigger on it for this little, little frame. You got half cock, fully, and then drop it down. Never dry fire it, guys. So... Let's talk about the cylinder for a minute. This cylinder here, the one that I keep loaded up, I got one chamber empty because so most cap and balls have a notch in between that you can rest your hammer down on for a safety. This one doesn't. These notches you see on the side are for the dog on the gun to rotate the cylinder. So what I do is for the one that I leave in the gun, I leave one cylinder empty and I'll put the hammer down on, on the one cylinder. So let's take it back to half cock. You're gonna slip it in. Line it up, take your pin, slide it in, and then what I'll do is pull it back, and I drop the hammer down on the, on the empty chamber so it's safe. It can't go off. It's single action only. It's, it's not going to go off. And um, <clears throat> you're safe as far as that goes. There's the business end, guys. Like I said, don't be alarmed. Even though this is loaded, the chamber that's in here is unloaded. It's single action. It cannot go off. So what I do want to show you really quick, like I said, is on the iPad, I want to show you what this 
holster looked like before I got at it. It was pretty darn, pretty darn ugly, guys. It's just raw leather. This is what the kit looks like when you get it. Hopefully you guys can see how raw and ugly this is. It was just an unfinished piece of leather. It was horrible looking. You don't get that black zipper pouch. What you get is the firearm, the extra, extra cylinder, the bullet pouch, and the flap style holster. And then you get all these accessories with it. This is the whole kit right here. You get the bullet cedar, the extra cylinder. You get the cup, the uh, nipple wrench, this is all included in the kit. And they say you could use triple seven or Pirate X powder. I'm using triple seven. You get 250 30 grain lead bullets with it. And you get 50 30 grain lead bullets with the pack. Okay, so I got 300 in total. That's what I got. And then like I said, you could go and get, get extras for really, really cheap. They're super cheap on the uh, on the bullets, guys. So I put this aside. I'll show you the powder I'm using. I opted for the triple seven. This is a sulfur-free powder. Unlike, let's see, unlike this one here that I use for my 1858. I use the pellets. This has sulfur. The, the gun stinks of sulfur when you when you're done shooting it, and it's a little harder to clean up but not a big deal this triple seven is a breeze it cleans up with water there's not as much smoke with it it's actually pretty hot it's a pretty hot load so I like it guys this is pretty good the only bad part about this is I have to pour it in each cylinder the other ones the pellets you just drop in it's a lot quicker but with having two cylinders it's not bad I could still I can still load them up pretty quick and I want to include some shooting in this video but like I said, I got so many videos to do. I'll get, I'll get out to the range with this and show you guys how it, how it performs. It doesn't perform bad. I was hitting plates with it. Those plates are, I think, 20, 25 feet away. And I was hitting them pretty good with it for the first time out with this. So hopefully with this fiber optic sight, I can get a better get a better bead on it. And this fiber optic sight kit was $9.95 at Cabela's, and it came with four pins. Here's the other three. You got orange. Let me see if I can get light you got orange yellow and white well clear so you could change those out how you change those out is you rotate that pin to six o'clock you slide it out you put the new one in then rotate it up to 12. all in all i'm pretty impressed with this guys i mean it seems like a little ridiculous pistol but it's a great great little pocket pistol it shoots very very accurately for its size i'm really really impressed with that i have to say and all the accessories for it it just makes it a fun little gun this, when i seen this a long time ago maybe 10 years ago i wanted one and you know i'm into the whole black powder thing i, I says oh they make it in a cap and ball which is pretty cool i like shooting the cap and ball so i ordered it i was a little skeptical at first i thought it was going to be cheesy but the fit and finish of this the quality highly recommend it guys highly highly recommend it the fit and finish on this firearm is absolutely phenomenal Everything on here is just machined to perfection. This plate actually comes off right here. You can't even see any seams or lines in it. That's how clean it is. I mean, the machine work is just really incredible. It's got a nice fat handle on it. You can get a longer handle. There's, there's so many accessories for this. If you go check out NAA's uh, website, North American Arms, I'll leave a link to it below. There's just, there's just tons of accessories for it. And like I said, uh, this was one of the ones on my black powder wish list. And now that I know that I like black powder and I've been shooting it a while now, I think the next and final black powder, well, I shouldn't say final because I was looking at a 50 cal the other day for uh, deer hunting. They're a muzzle loaded. But I know one that I definitely want is a uh, 1873. I definitely want an 1873 black powder. And that'll probably be the last pistol black powder that I'll buy. But again, guys, really really good piece for the money the whole kit is 289 shipped to your door so it's not bad with two cylinders all the equipment that you see you get this nice little holster which isn't bad fits in there nicely this fits in your pocket no problem it's got the belt hoop on the back if you want to wear it on your belt but it's a it's a pocket gun for sure i'm going to uh, make my own one of these i don't want the flap on it the flap is is useless so mine will end up being like this, minus the flap. 
just set it in the pocket. Everything's protected, so I think it came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. You know, two cylinder kit. Can't beat it, guys. It's a, it's it's pretty good. So, with that being said, guys, this is just a short little video. Let me show you the knife quick. Like I said, under better lighting, you can see that bluing on there. It's not bad. Like I said, guys, the grinds aren't perfect on it, but I think it came out pretty darn good. Fits great in the hand. It's just got a nice feel to it. Really good purchase. The other side, blue. It's got some scratches on it. So I cut a lot of boxes with this. I had to put together a uh, shelf the other day, and I was cutting a lot of cardboard up with it. Very, very sharp. This thing is razor sharp. Actually matches the gun really nice. The holster. I'm going to be dyeing the, uh, the leather I'm going to make for this the same color. That's a, uh, what the hell was that? Uh, acorn. Acorn brown. It's got a couple coats on it. That's why some spots look darker than others. I wanted to give it that aged look. Getting pretty good with the leather, guys. Even though I didn't make this one, but I could probably replicate this just as easy. It's not that hard. Been doing really well with the uh, leather. I think I'm going to 86 doing Kydex altogether, unless you know a customer wants Kydex. But as far as the knives go, I think I'm going to go leather. Really like working with leather. It looks better. It's a nicer feel. Unless you're doing a tactical knife, then I can see Kydex. But other than that, it's going to be leather. All right, so let me know what you guys think here of this North American Arms. I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I think it was a great purchase. It shoots well. It's a great little pocket gun. So if you got any questions or comments on the NAA, leave them below. As always, thanks for watching The Total Outdoors with the Yankee Cowboy.